Hey, and welcome back to this video. My name is Earl Hall. If you are a consultant, a coach, a course creator, you want to make sure that you subscribe to this channel. If you're interested in learning how to make 10K a month as a coach, consultant, or an agency owner, it's what I'm going to be talking about over the course of the next 20 or so days to help you get to that 10K a month goal and beyond that 10K a month goal. Today, we're going to be talking about your offer like so these are the three things that i want to make sure that we we cover in this thing so how to know what your audience wants to know from you that's number one number two how to deliver that and number three how to sell that to them all right so we've talked already about content creation about putting out content to see what is appealing to the audience that you have and so when we look at that first thing that first step here how do you know how do you get to know what your audience wants to know from you? So let me tell you what I've personally done. It all starts with creating some sort of poll. Now you can do a poll on Facebook, in Facebook groups, on Facebook pages. You can do polls on, on YouTube, on Instagram. There's a lot of different ways that you can do polls. But here's the thing. You want to start creating content on what you think your audience may want to know, right? Because that's the first stage. All right. What is it that you think they want to know based on what your skill set is? The things that you are actually good at. Start creating content around those things. And then once you start getting followers and you don't need thousands of followers, you can do this with 50, 100, 200 followers. It doesn't even matter what you want to start doing is the thing that I did, which made so much sense. And I'm so upset at myself that I didn't actually do this a long time ago. Ask your audience what they want to know. I mean, really, you've got these followers that are sitting right there. They're waiting on content from you. But now you can dig a little deeper into creating a poll to literally not have to guess what your audience wants to know based around your skill set. Now, you want to limit this. When you create a poll, you want to have like a question like um, this week, I'm thinking about doing a video on dot, dot, dot. Um, but I really want to know what it is that you want to know. Let me know what you'd like to learn about. And you give them four things to choose from. Now, the one thing I can tell you, especially if you're doing this on Facebook, you can make it so that they can vote as many times as they want, meaning that they can select all four, um, or you can make it so that they can only choose one. And once they make that decision, that's it. I believe that's the best way to go um, because then that will tell you what most people want to know about. And you think about how simple and easy this is, because when it comes down to content creation, it is one of those things where you don't know the content to create. You don't know the offer to sell. So let's get into that as well. So how to deliver that when you are creating those polls and you start getting those answers back, you want to put a poll, let's just say up on a Sunday or a Monday, and you want to be looking at that poll throughout the week. And then on Friday, you'll know the answer. So now going into the next week, you'll know the content that you ought to be creating based on the votes that you've gotten. And you do this each and every week so that every Friday, the winner from the last week gets to gets the video that's coming in the coming week. You can do this for so many different things. This is how you get to know how to deliver that. And now it comes to that's point two, right? So we've covered point one, how to know what your audience wants to know from you. And the point number two, how do you deliver that through the poll and through creating the content around what your audience is actually asking for. And then point number three, how to sell that to them. Well, after you've been doing this, let's just say for 60 to 90 days, you've got a good result of what people are asking you for. And that is what you sell them. You've created short pieces of content around how to do the thing. Now you can create a course that goes a little bit deeper or a lot deeper into those subjects that your audience wants to know about. Now, on your videos or your live stream, you can even start talking about, hey, this is the course that I've got available for you now. And you don't have to spend all this time. I did a video about a week or so back and it was called sell it before you build it. So many times people do this in reverse. They want to build something and then go try and sell it. You don't even know. You have no idea if people even want that. And when you're trying to do something like get to 10K a month and beyond, you can waste a lot of time trying to build something that no one is asking for. And now here's the thing, even beyond building a course, or even before you get to that point, you could literally just say, hey, if you want to know inf more information or go deeper into this topic, you can book a call with me. Charge whatever it is that you want to charge that you think is feasible, whether it's a hundred dollars, whether it's a thousand, whether it's 10,000, whatever that audience will bear, right? And you can do these consults one-on-one -on -one, and those consults will give you even deeper insight into literal courses that you can go back and sell at mass. They'll be evergreen and you can continue to talk about those things. But these key, these three steps are vital. And the reason is step number one, when you're talking about how do you know what your audience wants from you, you don't know until you ask them. Start asking your audience and following these steps. And I'm letting you know right now, it will be the thing that starts working for you so that you could be the go-to person in your industry for where people literally want to get their information. I'll see you on the next video.